Hey, we had the new parts come through from the factory. We'll get them on the car ahead of FP1. Thanks, Carl. You the man. Goals update. We've got to score 40 points. That's a lot of points. But we can do it. We can do it. It's going to be a dry race as well. There's our new contract. 40 championship points. So we've basically got to win one race. It's a win and a third. Considering Austin's next. That could be easily done. So welcome everyone to the land of the rising sun. Here at the Suzuka. So we got our chassis upgrade. That means now we can purchase uh, some more chassis upgrades if we f choose to. Would be nice to see if we, what would happen with a fully developed car. We got our two aero upgrades as well. So next up will be the aero packages. And they're all two week jobbies. So we might wait. But definitely look at, uh, I think, getting something here. Uh, it's all looking very good. Especially if you look at the championship. Uh, where we have a 21 point lead over Kimi Raikkonen. Sebastian Vettel languishing in for a very lonely third place. Ahead of Max Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, Lewis Hamilton, then Sergio Perez, Nico Hulkenberg, Carlos Sainz, Valtteri Bottas, Esteban Ocon, Lance Stroll in 12th, Charles Leclerc, Ken Magson, Roman Grosjean, Marcus Ericsson, Fernando Alonso, Brendan Hartley with his first points ever in F1 2018 from, uh, from Russia. Get in there, Brendan, son. And then uh, Stoffel and Pierre Gasly bring up the rear. Which means every single driver has scored a point. I don't think we'll be able to get close to uh, Ferrari and the constructors, so... I think that might be uh, something to keep an eye on. But uh, yes, we're going to take our stuff, we're going to go and uh, get practiced around Suzuka. And we'll see you for qualifying. Welcome to Japan and the impressive Suzuka track for today's qualifying session, where we should be underway shortly. Drivers tend to complain about tire wear around this track and the compounds along oh, the trying to barrel all the way to put that issue to bed. Is this going to be about just because Tarquin came in? Last? How are you doing, Tarquin? Tire wear is always something you have to consider to a certain degree. Finding a good car balance that suits the circuit will help prolong the life Got the of the cat tire. in here now, so this is going to go well. Circuits, such as this one, are <laughs> more challenging than others. Scrubs. How hard you can push them depends on your strategy and how tight the battle is around you. Okay, Jeff's not going to say a word to me. I think Jeff's a bit miffed because I um, cause I've binned it in uh, practice. Well, if he's not miffed at me, Carl's uh, miffed at me. They're both miffed at me, I think. Uh, where am I going? I'm going here. Empty the car. And let's get out there. And... Um, yeah, practice went, uh, I think practice went pretty well, actually. Um, the first session was full of rain and we were absolutely nowhere. But then, uh, session, uh, session two and three were dry. We were fastest in session two, fa second fastest session three to Kimi. I reckon front row is uh, our target today and uh, especially through um, through the first season oh there's, there's where I lost it in uh, practice three but first season when I came here the car it felt good but uh, just lacked a little something something well now it doesn't lack that uh, something something and we've got, we've got power. 
as Grosjean there. Now don't get me wrong, that 130.1 is a good lap, but uh, me and Kimmy were down in that area, the 29-28 area. <coughs> so we've got to get on it. We got to get on it, boy. See how we compare to Ricardo. Oh wow, we're half a second up. If this isn't in the 28, I don't know what will be. As uh, Holly and Fern, no, Holly and Phil, sorry. They uh, play in the background, they're happy with that lap. So am I, 28-9. That's a good lap. That was a good lap. That was about where I was uh, in practice one, but then here comes Bottas with a 27-7. Yikes! Where did that lap come from? Alonso also with the 27s. They must have OP'd this uh, circuit because that is just ridiculous. Anyway, it's looking like we're good, although we are starting to slip down the order now. That's worrying. Stay in this area. I think we got more than uh, more than our fair share for them. So P9, my teammate P10. We just got to figure out where the hell they pulled these 27 nines from. Oh well, I'm not uh, I'm not worrying. We qualified ahead of Kimi as well. Useful. Um, so we lose. Wow, we lose Hamilton. We lose Hamilton and Magnussen, Science as well. Grosjean and Van Dorn. Notice the Toro Rosso's have got points and now they got uh, they got confidence. <laughs> okay then, Q2. Here we are then, Q2, and uh, I reckon we'll go uh, we'll go get our lap in. See, I did um, I did think, shall I go start on the soft tires? But I don't think there's too much of an advantage doing that. Um, so we'll stick on the super soft. And uh, hope we can uh, do some damage in the uh, in the race. Get the PRS open, so here we go. I did. Oh God, there's a car coming out. Who is that? Is that Bottas? Or is that my teammate? No, it looks like Bottas. Oh, good lord. Well, at least we got that extra set of tyres. I'm hoping I catch Lance uh, somewhere out the uh, somewhere out there. Then, if it is Lance, I don't think it is. Oh, it is. It's Lance. Come on, Lance. You're in the way. Fast Williams coming through. Or oh, actually, no. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there, I might be able to get your toe. It might not be enough, but it'll be something. I've gone 29 1. Oh, we go wide in spoon 2. So here we go, we got Lance's toe. Thanks, Lance. You're the man. Side by. No! Lance, what are you doing? <laughs> Lads, you've taken leave of your senses. Hey, a 28.5. Fantastic. That was the fastest lap. And we'll let Lance through to do his lap as well. That's the right thing. We give him a mini toe and... Uh, Hopefully he'll get in. So we are... Wow. Wow, Lance got a 27.8. How did you get 27.8, Lance? I think that 27.5 is going to be good enough. Look, yeah, it looks like it's going to be good enough. As Stra Perez goes faster... Yeah, cool. Wow, we knocked Vettel out. <laughs> Scrub. He got so does Verstappen. Wow. 
So we've knocked out Ericsson, we knocked out Hartley, and we knocked out uh, Alonso with Verstappen and Vettel. That's interesting. I was going to go super soft, but uh, I thought best not. That means Pole's got to be up for grabs then. Could it be a Williams 1 2? Here's Dream. Right then. So we got an extra set of tyres for this session if we need it. So let's uh, let's do the honourable thing. Go out there. Let's set a lap. Now that first lap we did, that lap we did in Q2 was very scruffy. I will admit. But as long as we qualify, I would say top three, and Raikkonen doesn't qualify a lot else, I think uh, we can uh, we can do this. I think we can do this massively. As we get the DRS open now, down to turn one. Come on. There's no cars coming out of the pit lane, so that's good. As we, oh yeah, they turn that thing in, there you go. Now let's hook this section up, perfect. Oh, over the curb, oh, over that curb too. And that, that curb was all right. That felt good. Oh, the car tried to slide on me through Dunlop. But we managed to save it. There we go, into the Degnas. Now up to the hairpin. I didn't see how fast we were out of Dunlop. Oh, uh, dear me, overdone the hairpin. But I think we should be all right. Raikkonen's just going through sector two now. Ocon with a 30.1. Not good enough, I think, at Esteban. If I'm being honest. Now, oh, that was a better exit out of Spoon than uh, the first session. Oh, that 28.1 by Raikkonen's good enough. But we're faster than Raikkonen. So come on. Nice little switch back through this Casio triangle. Over the line. Woohoo! It's You've just put in the fastest lap. Good. It's provisional pole. Ha 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 ha! Scrub. And then Ricardo goes and ruins it by OPing it completely. <laughs> oh, we're not going to beat Ricardo. That's so far. Our fastest lap is a one twenty-eight point zero. That I think is a given. I think we can beat Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg's there for the taking. Wow, look at that. He's one point four faster through the middle sector. Wow, that Red Bull is on fire! That Red Bull's on fire. Let's go do our lap then. Let's go do our lap. How much fuel we got? It's only good for one. So, it's one and done. Oh dear. Give me a corner cutting warning. I think we should be all right. Let's see how we do going down into the first corner. Yeah, just lose a bit of time slightly, but I think we can make this time back up. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, well, that's the end of that. Well, that's the end of that. Always the S's, man. Always the S's. Car repairs have set us back a little. As I think we we're third, though. That's good. Of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Ricardo, that's, uh, that's pretty good, Paul. I'd say. It's time to leave for now, but we'll be that back Red tomorrow Bulls when be the Grand immense in that middle sector. That's a uh, car to keep an eye out tomorrow. Although who knows when he gets uh, down to it, he may not uh, he may not be a factor. So uh, back to the shop, I think. We'll call that uh, a job well done. Doesn't matter if we got uh, we got the rivalry over Vettel. 
Pay me 300 resource points, please. Just for the sake of paying me 300 resource points. Except you're only going to give me 250. Wow, I feel like I've been shortchanged. <laughs> I honestly feel like I just got shortchanged there. Well done. That was a good qualifying performance. I would say that was a good qualifying performance as well. And Jeff uh, just wants us to go what we'll, uh, we do best. I think, to be fair, we should, in theory, win this race. Because it's a circuit that starts with an S. <laughs> and any circuits with S and M, as you know, we've been winning. So all's good in the hood there. Yeah, we uh, bought a, I bought a power upgrade for uh, for Austin, and then I'll get another one for um, Mexico. So that when we get up to here, all we gotta do is uh, click the well, I'd say click the three uh, around it, and we're good to go. Um, yeah, okay. Everything's good over here. Everything good? Good. All right. Let's go race then. Let's go try and win at Suzuka. We're live today from the Mie Prefecture of Japan as we look forward to the Japanese Grand Prix. The 2015 race here was one of only five Grand Prix in history to feature no retirements at all. Although with a highly competitive field we have today, I don't expect we'll be repeating that stat anytime soon. 18 corners make up a lap of the incredible figure of eight Suzuka circuit with 10 to the right and 8 to the left. Do you know surprised me about Suzuka though, the fact there's only one DRS zone? There needs to be two at Suzuka. Can you not imagine a DRS zone going out of spoon into 130R? That would be an amazing DRS zone. And all this will be happening under the watchful eye of Anthony Davidson, who joins me for today's race. And assuming the weather holds, where do you expect to see the action unfolding today, Ant? Well, most of the time, passing here is limited very much into the final chicane, or maybe down into Turn 1 if you get a good run and some assistance from DRS. But if we're lucky, we might see a bit of bravery into the hairpin, a place that Kamui Kobayashi certainly made his own in the 2010 Grand Prix on his way to a very impressive seventh place. And as you say, Crofty, this is all assuming that the conditions hold out. We know how quickly the clouds can come in here at Suzuka, and if they do, all bets will be well, on. Well, hopefully they shouldn't. They well, forecast then, the dry the race today. qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Paul lines up on pole position, and Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the group, oh, wow. we have Ocon, Leclerc, Hello. <laughs> Bottas, and Stroll, Perez, Gasly, Ericsson, and Daniel Ricciardo. Vettel, Hartley, Max Verstappen, and Alonso, Hamilton, Hulkenberg, Carlos Sainz, and Stoffel van Dorn, Grosjean. They've taken a grid penalty, and Kevin Magnussen rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. With five races remaining, we're still in with a chance of taking the Constructors' Championship. The team need a result from you today. So um, thanks to Ricardo and uh, Hulkenberg taking a penalty, uh, we're now on pole, uh, which I think is uh, pretty awesome, because now it makes it a lot easier to beat those uh, Red Bulls. Although knowing Ricardo, well actually no, he has to start on the tyres he did his fast lap on. Ha <laughs> ha So he's back there, scrub. And we've got to beat the uh, the red car in the mirror there. So uh, it's all good. So let's go. Uh, Let's go get this done. Come on, engage with gear. There we go, lights out, away we go. We're going to get a good start over Kimmy. No, we're not. Kimmy and me side by side into the first corner. Hey, it's a prof center. But we come out of it with the lead. Wow. What are you going to say to that, Kimmy? That's uh, Kimmy done and dusted, I would say. Excellent. 
Leclerc in third. Wow, go Charles. Go Charles, man. So out the hairpin. It should be a nice, easy run now because we are much faster than Kimmy. Mm, much faster than Kimmy. Well, I'm hoping we're much faster than Kimmy anyway. We are completely OP in them as far as power is concerned. Through the 130R up to the Casio Triangle. Get on the brakes. There you go. Look at that. That's, that's beautiful. That was beautiful. Over that bump in the middle of the penultimate corner. And look at that. Already into the 31s. Kimmy has no answer, folks. He has no answer today. Hopefully, if he has no answer, we should uh, have plenty of answers for him. Yeah, you have to clunk that corner at 130R. Oh, so Degna. Where's Lance? Lance looks like he's in uh, fourth place. Yeah, go on, Lance. Go get you some! I would say it doesn't matter about Vettel, but uh, it kind of does. I wouldn't mind it for Charles. Uh, help me out a little bit. Come on, Charles. Who knows, I might be able to win the uh, championship at uh, probably Mexico. Or maybe even uh, America. No, I think America's pushing it. But look at that gap we've already pulled out on Raikkonen. It's up at 3.2 seconds. He's being completely op There's the fastest lap. Great work. That's a new fastest lap for the race. 30.8. As we get to turn one and turn two right. Now look at it. This, this I love this section of the yellow flag out. I don't know why I think... Uh, caution, caution. The virtual safety car is out. Reduce speed and maintain a positive delta. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Yeah, well, I did try to reduce my pace there, Jeff, so you're alright. Wonder why the BSC's come out. Well, I still see Raikkonen, I still see Leclerc, I still see... BSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. We can get the power down right out the hairpin. They were in the hairpin when I think the VSC ended, or coming to at least. So we might have extended our gap, we may not have. It was what, 3.1, something like that? Still looks like 3. Point, uh, something. It's 3.7 now, so the virtual safety car. Ladies and gentlemen, so we come in this We're lap. We're going to box this lap, push hard on the in lap. That's Kibby and Charles in now, so Lance and uh, Ocon will resume first and, uh, sorry, second and third. Lance not too far off the podium. Every point helps uh, right about now, Lancey boy. Oh. Whoa, big power slide. We just hit the brakes and hoped it stuck. And it did. We're not going to be able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. 
You can only think that that power slide would not have been good for the rear tyres, though. Oh, dear me, right. So we're going to push everything into coming in this lap. We may have just overdone it through Spoon. Where we come out, we'll come out 15th apparently, but as, as long as we come out in front of uh, Raikkonen there. Oh, is that, look at that, Leclerc's jumped Raikkonen. Don't forget, box this lap. I think Leclerc jumped Raikkonen. Our gap Raikkonen. behind is 4.2 seconds. I do believe Leclerc jumped Raikkonen. Oh, hey, come on. I'm sure we were on the number there. Complete, go now. I'm sure we were on the number there. You want to have a word with yourself, man. 2.8 stop. We didn't do any damage to the car, did we? No good. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. We're going to beat Leclerc out. That's a good thing. Shouldn't take too long for us to get some heat into these uh, tight softs now. But then we've got to get a five second gap. Because we, we were a naughty boy in the eyes of the stewards. In the eyes of me, I saw the number 50. It said 50. So uh, we didn't speed there. So Leclerc is 2.9 behind us. So Leclerc did jump Raikkonen. Wow! You know I was saying for Leclerc to be my best mate? Well, now he, now he is my best mate. And in fact, we need to hope that Stroll and Arcon, well, no, Arcon's actually behind me, but Stroll, he get, he's in the pits now. Lance is in the pits. So let's see if Stroll can jump Raikkonen too. In fact, we need to get a move on because I think Ericsson might... No, everyone's in the pits now, so we should resume the lead. Yeah, we've resumed the lead, apart from the fact that uh, Stoffel Van Dorn's out here. Stoffel Van Dorn's still out. Who's he got with him? And he's got a white car with him, so that's one of the Haas's, I think. Are they on... Uh, yeah, they're on... No, they're on Supersoft too. Well, Van Dorn is at least. As we set the fastest first sector on the socks, ladies and gentlemen. On the socks. You know, the slower tyre. That's, uh, that's according to everyone else. Wow, it looks like a lot of people got the jump on Raikkonen. But we're not, uh, we're not dropping the uh, Charles Leclerc as quick as we'd like. Could it be possible Leclerc could win this race? Gap at 3.4. It needs to be at 5 to uh, assist us as Van Dorn's in the pits. So Van Dorn's in, who's in the lead then? Let's grow, John. So it's uh, myself from Charles Leclerc from Esteban Ocon. And then I, shoot, I see Marcus Ericsson back there. These Saubers have got some pace. Gap at 4.3. So we're getting the... Um, we're getting the time down. That's good. 
Almost power slid it out the hair, and we didn't want that. Look at all those cars that are ahead of Kimmy. Kimmy must be sitting in that car and he must be going nuts. Because out of nowhere, out of literally nowhere, Battery charge is low. If we turn down the ERS deployment, we can harvest more energy. In fact, you know what help me? Because Stroll behind Kimmy. If Stroll can take Kimmy, we might gain another few points on him. And the gap at 4.3. Wow. Do me a favor, Charles. You're going to make this close, aren't you? <laughs> There's another fastest lap of the race. Charlotte 4.5. You just gotta be so, so precise through the Degnas and through Dunlop. Sorry, through the S's and now down through Dunlop to uh whoa. We had to back out of that a bit. But the gap at 5.4. That's the number, folks. We have five laps of fuel remaining. And in fact, I've just seen the mini back stroll has taken Raikkonen. That is four position. Lance Stroll is doing the teammate thing job. Good boy, Lancey. Some information on Ericsson. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. Well, Ericsson's now going to put... Ericsson might bring out a big crash in a second. Because he was coming up to spoon. As the, all the gaps at five seconds to Charles Leclerc. But I do think our first sector is powerful enough that we can get away with this. Let's see what the gap is coming across the line. It's 4.9. Oh, come on. There's going to be a lot of people on there now saying, please let Sauber win. But I, I'm, in a, I'm in a championship fight here. Every point matters. Every single point matters to me here now. Ooh, that's a back out of through the Dunlop corner that might hurt me a bit Ooh, uh, get in there turn that sod in there five and a half to uh, Leclerc could we get another power slide on out the hairpin in fact now look at this it's Stroll against Raikkonen come on Lance it's now time to show everyone that you are not here because you, your daddy bought you a seat. It's time to put the big boy pants on. That's Kimi Raikkonen, my championship rival behind you. Gap at five seconds to uh, Charles Leclerc. And we come over the line, four to go. Gap to teammate behind is 19.8 seconds. And now the, I saw the gap at 4.9. So it looks like this is how the top three are going to finish as we get, oh, get that all wrong through the S's. So but we uh, managed to recover it. Almost. There we go, we've recovered. We've recovered it, so that's all right. No harm, no foul. No harm, no foul through the dead. The gap to the car behind is 5.3 seconds. 5.3 to the car behind. Ugh. Something tells me towards the end of the race here. It's There's three laps of fuel remaining. Going to be close. It might mean I have to win in Austin to get the uh, the resource points. Oh, I hope I don't have to win. 
Well, actually, I wouldn't mind if we did because uh, Austin is actually one of our better tracks. The gap at 5.1. And you come plunking okay, over Okay, we need some energy harvesting. Reduce ERS deployment. Uh, I'd rather not, if you don't mind, Jeff. Rather not. Gap at all. Now the gap's over five seconds. We pretty much burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. Uh, do you mind if I don't again, Jeff? Because I, I kind of, you know, I kind of want to win this race, you know. And I kind of have to win this race. As uh, we get 5.6 on Leclerc. This whole race is going to be all about me just keeping an eye on that uh, second place car, Charles Leclerc. Lance is still holding off Raikkonen. He's doing the job. Plus we're going to be bringing home some major points for the Williams team in our fight with Ferrari. For the constructors. Wouldn't it be great? I'm actually thinking of leaving Williams and heading to Renault. We win the Constructors and we win the Drivers' Championship in our second season. That's this middle sector. We are absolutely OP in this middle sector. Oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. Did we get a fastest lap? No. Nope. Four tenths there. We lose four tenths in that last sector, man. And the gap at 5.4, so I think we've uh, abated the uh, the Sauber challenge from uh, Charles Leclerc. Oh, 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 we caught that one. We caught that one. Max Verstappen out the race. Lance is in for his stop. What? What? There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Gasly out of the race. I wonder if that's them two have got something to do with each other, Verstappen and Gasly. Wonder if that had something to do with the pair of them. I don't know. Could have done. So Lance is in for his stop. Who's that in front of Kimmy? Who's that in front of Kimmy then for crying out loud? This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. I think we've uh, we've negated Leclerc now. Yeah, 5.8. We just gotta be sensible now. Be sensible. No uh, no risks. Don't go anywhere near any curbs. Don't overdo it in some corners. You have to back off. Back off. Just uh, take it nice and easy. 6.6. .6. That's enough for us to win the Japanese Grand Prix. We head up to the spoon corner. The last corner we can get it wrong is 130R. And cars have been known to oversteer through 130R on this game. In fact, Leclerc has now got an knock-on challenge. That's going to be interesting down into... I think Raikkonen's overtaken that car. Who, who is that car? It's one of the Mercs, it must be. Through 130i, it doesn't matter. We're coming up to the Casio Triangle. Through the Casio Triangle, out the last corner, to the line, to win the Japanese Grand Prix. Woohoo! Superb driving. That's the race win. Four in a row, baby! Four in a row!
Is that four in a row? Hold on. Spa, Monza, Singapore. Win, then, That's the five in a row. <laughs> and I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what Tell us it was the pace. The competition here. I feel like consistency was probably well, the key we'll today. take consistency. Being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on Where's Carl? Come on, Carl. We're celebrating. And that's an approach. Oh, it's Bottas holding up Raikkonen. And I can see our drivers making their way out now. It's been a sublime team performance. Look at that. Three it's independents the on the front, on work. the podium. Williams. Williams, Sauber and Force India. That's worthy of spraying. The champagne! So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Paul increases their championship lead. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Uh, it's got to be Roman Grosjean. He was in another league for me today. Really impressive. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Sauber, whose good result moves them further up the championship. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling instalment of this Formula One season. I'll take that. Woohoo! Oh, we love that. So what's the gap in the constructors then? Gap in the constructors, 139 points. That's easily turnaroundable if, uh, if they get off their rear and uh, do the business. Oh, well then. I think, uh, can we have a look at the race director? See uh, see what happened with, uh, uh, there we go. Uh, so Gasly collide, had a collision, speeding in the pit line. Area. Gasly had terminal damage. I saw Verstappen went out. Where, where's Verstappen? He had a DNF, but uh, I don't see him. Hmm, it's interesting. Oh, well. Let's head to uh, see Claire. Claire's going to have some uh, words to say. And then uh, we'll head to the shop. Here she is. Good day today. Tell us about it from your perspective. Was there really any competition for you today? Um, no. There was, um, there was zero competition uh, for us out there today. Our aero package helped us out a lot. Do you think you were lucky not to end your race with that crash? Uh, definitely. Great. Well, that's everything. Oh, is that everything? All right, then. Fair enough. You only wanted to ask us two questions, darling. Oh, well, we get to beat Vettel all over again. Sweet. Everyone's rep goes up. Do you think even Ferrari would take me? Just wanted to say congrats on the podium. It's thoroughly deserved. We were sweating those last few laps on the pit wall, but you brought it home. I know, man. I know. We've received invitations to new historic events. You'll be able to choose whether or not to participate before the end of this weekend. I'm, I'm glad, Carl, that uh, you thought I was the man. I am the man. Should we get a suspension upgrade? Should we get a suspension upgrade? Or should we get another power upgrade? No, we can't get another power upgrade, so we'll get a suspension upgrade. I think we'll, uh, I think we'll go for that one. That'll be ready for Austin, won't it? I'll be, there you are, so we got some more power and we got some more 
weight reduction coming for Austin. The Williams is the best car. Although look at look at that. Renault and Force India are pretty close, so maybe I'm being a bit. Uh, let's have a let's have a let's have a look uh, in the chassis compared. So Force India are now equal on par with Renault. That's good. Uh, Renault are better. Are they? No, Force India are better in the aero department, so that's good. And then in the chassis department, that belongs to Renault. So really, there's not much. Uh, there's not much difference then between the two. That's uh, that's very interesting and very worth knowing, I think. So uh, yeah, I can choose a new rival now, can't I? Oh no, I've got to do it in the next race. Okay, do it in the next race. Well, we're going to do uh, one of these challenges. Well, we're going to America. I suppose we should go and do that one, shouldn't we? Why not? Absolutely. Yes, let's do that. So we'll go do that. Uh, and until next time, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed that around Suzuka. And we'll see you uh, for the next Grand Prix around Austin. Take care, everyone.